Explaining and pitching CSDM to management is not an easy task. Many professionals are convinced of its value, yet to really get that buy-in, that's where the challenge lies. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm the Managing Director at Einer & Partners. And today, I'm in beautiful Rotterdam in the Netherlands to experience the fantastic Dutch summer. But perhaps more importantly, I'm very excited about taking you on this particular video, because Maybe you are in a position where you're about to create a CMDB from scratch and aiming towards CSDM. Or perhaps you already have a CMDB and going to embark on a CSDM journey. Irrespective of your situation, we have a fantastic guest speaker who will teach you more about the values around CSDM and how to articulate them. And me, myself, I will dive into what it really takes to create a solid business case together with scaling that CSDM culture from an organizational perspective. So, let's dive in. CSDM is a framework and data model by ServiceNow and stands for the Common Service Data Model. This is a comprehensive one, and as much as it's related to the CMDB and IT-related aspects, the key of CSDM is really the potential to drive the entire organization towards becoming service-oriented. If this is the first time you're hearing about CSDM, we recommend you to watch our other video, which explains and breaks down the concept in 10 minutes. The challenge with CSDM, it may arise when professionals and architects try to create that momentum and really drive CSDM towards management. Somewhere along those lines, the initiative may get stuck. Because a data model rarely sounds exciting, right? Sometimes IT leaders and executives can have a hard time understanding the benefits of CSDM and why an organization should invest time and budget. Which is what this video is for. To drive CSDM, it's important to be intentional and structured in our approach to generate buy-in. The perhaps most critical part starts with understanding the value that CSDM brings in tangible ways. And this can also sometimes be tricky. Today, we'd like to visit some common examples around the value of CSDM. And to do so, we've invited a great guest and expert speaker to the Einar & Partner Studio for a discussion. Let's check it out. So, Erik Jan, first of all, welcome to the Einar & Partner Studio. You are a ServiceNow and IT for IT architect with a lot of experience, especially in the financial sector. And one of the things that we discussed around the values of CSDM is what you explained, the disconnect between the conceptual versus operational world. Why is that important? Uh, what, what you see in organizations is that uh, um, more and more uh, management expects that an architect makes the, the, the technology decisions. Um, which are uh, which reflects in this in a design in 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 a support for a business case in a choice for a vendor um, and then an architect is usually disconnected from the operational world who gets an assignment to build and 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 support uh, the the business application in the in the runtime and um, and we want to bring this closer and and csdm model really helps that by having the design phase in the blue and aligning that with the with the uh, the application surface in the in the orange part one of these main values that we often hear in csdm is the topic of ownerships what is your perspective on what csdm brings to ownerships well i think because we have now um, defined the, the business applications and the services by the architects and the application owners, we can also now pinpoint who is going to own what part. Yes, so an architect is defining the technology choices, defining the business applications and the services, and, it, and the teams are, are, for the teams it's now much clearer who owns which service and which offer, offerings they need to define uh, to, uh, to, to, to make those services consumable by their customers. Yeah, yeah. And often attached with ownerships also comes context. And infrastructure in itself doesn't do anything existing in a vacuum, but it often requires this context. 
How do you view upon CSDM and the context it brings? Well, the context of, of, of for a, a business application to an application service and any stack underneath gives much more clarity on what belongs to what. Uh, so understanding which CI belongs to or which database belongs to which application service makes a lot clearer um, wh what the total costs of, a, of an application are. Um, if you want to monitor uh, a, a business application, it's clear when a CI falls, falls out, uh, which application service is impacted um, uh, or even which capability uh, is, is affected. Uh, so, so it's much clearer if you have an incident uh, what, uh, what the root cause is or what the business impact upstream is. It's Absolutely. much easier if you have the context in place. Mm. Last but not least, we often see organizations, especially I've used service now a while, have done a lot of customizations. And CSDM brings us closer to the box, out of the box. Um, what is your experience when it comes to CSDM and out of the box? Well, a lot of organizations have customizations, created their own tables, created their own uh, custom fields. Um, I think it's, it's important that they start working towards the out of the box, the service, the, the, the CSDM model that's, that's becoming better in every release. And also the platform releases are getting, are, are, are getting more and more dependent on, on the CSDM model. So if you want to standardize and you want to automate, uh, it, it is really important to migrate towards the CSDM model. Yeah, fully agreed, fully agreed. So we're going to talk later a little bit more about the cultural components and CSDM. But for now, thank you a lot for your insights. So. Now when we know a little bit more around the values of CSDM, the next question becomes how to articulate them. So throughout my own career, I've been helping many organizations develop solid business cases around this topic. And the tips that I'm about to give you, they're of course generic ones, because naturally each business case is unique depending on the organization, the sort of management you're directing towards and the overall style. But nonetheless, let's have a look together. Don't put emphasis on the data model. That is a means to the end. Focus on the measurable outcomes and values instead. We discuss some of them. Cost reductions through less manual work, easier to maintain data quality, back to the box, application cost tracking, business impact analysis, and so forth. Make the journey bite-sized. If you're starting from zero or coming from an old data model, embarking on the journey of full CSDM may take years. And this is largely due to the organizational aspects. It's easier to create a business case that focuses on one or two key areas of CSDM rather than trying to forecast and explain the entire journey. It might seem obvious, but I've seen many monster business cases that are way too broad in scope. An ultimate vision is important, but we've seen better successes with pinpointed iterations of approaching CSDM rather than one big project. Whatever you're going to do in CSDM, start with a pilot phase. Use this pilot phase to measure the internal time investment by, for example, service owners or other relevant stakeholders. That way, the internal efforts can easier be quantified towards management. Understand policy versus organic buy-in. What level of support is expected from management versus what will come natural? If the latter, it's likely you'll have to convince department managers and influential service owners to tag along in the project. If by policy, it's likely the business case must involve changes to people's roles and responsibilities across the organization. All right, so clearly there's a lot that goes into a business case of CSDM. And in matter of fact, it doesn't end here. However, the video is starting to become quite long, which means that we will split this up into two parts. So stay tuned for the second part of the CSDM value and business case series, where we will discuss again with our guest Eric Young about the organizational transformation and cultural components of CSDM, which is also going to fit into the business case. So thank you so much for watching this first part. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow Aineram Partners on LinkedIn. And most of all, stay tuned for the second part. Thank you so much for watching.